Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I got comment to create the horizontal slider using mouse wheel. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create an image gallery that will slide horizontally using mouse wheel. Usually when we rotate the mouse wheel, the web page a scroll down or a scroll up. But if I take cursor over this image gallery and rotate the mouse wheel, it will scroll the gallery horizontally either in the left side or right side. In this image gallery, we have added two control icons also that is for the backward and forward. We can click on these icons to scroll the gallery to the left side or right side. We have added one more effect. If I take cursor over this image, you can see the image becomes colorful. All the images are gray right now. When we take cursor, it becomes colorful and you can see the image size is also increasing when we take cursor. So we will create this horizontal scroll with mouse wheel using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. This will be very good JavaScript mini project for your resume. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel. Now let's start the video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. And here you can see some images and two icons. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file I have added this title. then this link tag that will connect the CSS file. Now we will add the code within this body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name gallery and within this gallery we will create another div and in this div we will add span and inside this span we will add the first image with the img tag. Here we will add the file path of the image. It is images slash image one dot png. Let's duplicate this line and we will add the another image, image 2 and 3. After that, let me open this web page with browser so you can see three images on this web page. Now, let's come back and here we will copy this class name and come back to the CSS file here. First, we will add the CSS for the body and here in this body, we will add the background. After that, add that class name gallery. Here we will add the width. It will be 900 pixel and display flex. After that, we will add gallery and div. For this div, let's add the width of 100% display grid and grid template column auto auto auto. So we will get three image in one row. After that, we will add grid gap of 20 pixel and padding of 10 pixel. Then we have the img tag. So here we will add gallery div and img. Width will be 100% for the image. Now you can see perfect size for these images. Next we will add three more images. So let's come back and duplicate this div and replace the image file name. It is 456. So we have total six images. You can see the images size becomes small. So let's come back and here we will add flex none. Now you can see it is perfect size for the image and you can see the horizontal scrolling here. The complete website is scrolling. So let's come back and uh, here in this gallery, we have to add overflow X scroll. Now only this gallery will scroll. The gallery width is 900 pixel and it is scrolling inside that div. Next, we have to hide this horizontal scroll bar. So let's come back and here we will add gallery and WebKit scroll bar display none. So that horizontal scroll bar is hidden, but we cannot scroll it with the mouse wheel. So let's come back and uh, above this gallery, we will add another div with the class name gallery wrap. And in this one, we will add one image and file name back.png then another file name next.png here we will add id backvtn and nextvtn and let's 
remove it and add it here within these images. So first we have the back arrow, then all images and again next arrow. You can see the back arrow at the top and the next arrow at the bottom. Here we will add gallery wrap, display flex, align item center and justify content center. Then we will add the margin of 10% auto. You can see it is horizontally centered. Now just come back and copy this ID back VTN. Then next VTN. We are adding hashtag because it's an ID. Here we will add the width 50 pixel cursor pointer and margin 40 pixel. Now the size for the icons are perfect. Next, we will add the hover effect on these images. So let's come back and here we will add gallery div img and hover. And uh, let's add filter grayscale 0. The grayscale will be 0 and come here and we will add cursor pointer and transform scale 1.1. So it will increase the size. Just copy this filter grayscale and add it here. And Let's add 100%. So the default gray scale will be 100%. So the image will be gray. Let's add the transition transform 0 0.5 seconds. So it will take 0.5 seconds to increase the size. You can see the size is increasing and the image becomes colorful when we take cursor. So we have added the hover effect. After that, we have to enable the horizontal scroll using mouse wheel. So just come back and here above this closing body tag, we will add a script tag. In this script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So here we will add let scroll container equal to document dot query selector. And we will select this one dot gallery. So we are selecting this class name. After that, we will add let back vtn equal to document dot get element by id because we have the id here back vtn so write it here now duplicate this line and it will be next vtn so we have selected the gallery div then next vtn and back vtn after that let's copy this one add it here here we will add add event listener and it will be wheel So it is wheel event, then we will add this arrow function and when we will rotate the wheel, this function will be executed. So here we will add evt dot prevent default. It will prevent the default feature that a scroll the web page down or up. Next we will add the a scroll container. scroll left plus equal to evt dot delta y after that come back to the website and if i take cursor over this image and rotate the mouse wheel this slider is scrolling we can scroll in the left direction or right direction you can see this image gallery is scrolling horizontally with the mouse wheel. Now we will add the click feature on this back arrow and next arrow. So let's come back and here we will add next btn dot event listener click because we will add the click function. Here also we will add the arrow function and this function will be executed when we will click on the icon. Here we will add scroll container dot scroll left plus equal to 900 because the width is 900 for the gallery again duplicate it and here we will add back vtn and it will be minus equal to 900 that's it after that let's come back and if i click on the back button it is scrolling the gallery to the left side and if i click on the right button it is scrolling the gallery to the right side but when we click on these icons it immediately scroll it by 900 that's why we cannot see the scroll animation so let's come back and here we will add scroll container dot 
style dot scroll behavior and we will add the scroll behavior smooth let's copy it and paste it here same thing now just come back and if i click here you can see it will scroll smoothly you can see this gallery is scrolling horizontally when we click on these next or previous button and we can scroll it using the mouse wheel also but you can see this mouse wheel scroll is not smooth right now so let's come back and uh, here copy and paste it in this wheel event and here we will add auto that's it after adding this let's come back now if we rotate the mouse wheel this gallery is scrolling smoothly and when we click on the icon here also it is scrolling smoothly and we have the hover effect also so finally we have completed this beautiful image gallery that scroll horizontally using the mouse wheel i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video